Hi, I'm Mark Hoth and welcome to Swift Almanac. Today, I'm briefly going to talk about jobs and where the channel is headed. Apart from being an IT professional, I also had an IT recruitment firm for around 12 years. So I know what employers are looking for and uh, I can assist you in uh, getting a job. So I'm making the assumption that many of you are starting out developers looking to either learn Swift or even learn a language for the first time. But based on our demographics for the channel, I think most of you are looking to pick up a new language. In any event, most of you will want a job at the end of it. And in my experience, employers want someone with two things. Firstly, they want work experience. And secondly, they want people who have got apps already in the app store. Now, most channels are merely providing you with a way of uh, learning features about uh, Swift or um, iOS. But in my channel, I'm going to provide an additional two things. In addition to the ongoing weekly tutorials, I'm going to start running quarterly programming boot camps uh, and also commence project teams that will be building a series of apps which will be free on the App Store. So if you've been asking yourself how to get experience and an app into the App Store, look no further. I'm not looking to make big dollars out of the venture, but cost recovery and a trivial payment will be required. So the final free series for 2017 will be building the Swift Almanac app, a means for which you can access the paid content for Swift Almanac, join the boot camp, and the first one will be in February 2018, and the first one will be free. Uh, also, you'll be able to uh, join in our communal development environment where you can work as part of a team of developers uh, developing apps that you will be credited for and you can use on your resume to say, hey, my app is in the App Store. So what will the Swift Almanac app have as a feature or features? Uh, we'll, of course, be building upon the features we already have used through the year and then we'll be adding the following. Uh, we'll be having an app that uses the notification manager uh, so we will have apps that go Bing. Um, because it's a development app, we will be using the GitHub API uh, and our source code will be available on GitHub uh, and it will only be available to members of the app. Uh, and all that's going to be done programmatically uh, within our Swift Almanac app. Thirdly, we're going to be using Firebase or the new Google product Firestore, uh, which is a replacement for Firebase. Let's have a look. Uh, I've only seen it, so I'll be the virgin at that as well. Fourth, we're going to be looking at JSON. Uh, let's look at key value pairs, and we'll be using uh, HTTP send requests to talk to a server and send JSON. That'll all be hooked in with both Firebase and the GitHub API. Uh, we'll be implementing timers. Uh, every app should have one. Uh, if you want to do the same thing in five minutes or 10 minutes or check daily, etc., you need to use timers and we'll show you how to implement those. Um, finally, you probably want to make some money out of your apps now. Apple got rid of their uh, advertising model uh, about two years ago. However, uh, Google still obviously advertises and we'll be using, I think it's called AdMob. Uh, we'll be using AdMob through Firebase Firestore to monetize our application. Um, we'll be loading the app on App Store and there'll be two versions. There'll be the free version which comes with advertising and if you want to get rid of the advertising, there'll be a paid version um, which will be, I don't know, $2 or something. Um, but we'll show you how to uh, have those two different apps and, and remove the advertising feature if someone is using the paid version of your application. Uh, finally, we'll be looking at payment gateways, uh, both paid apps within the App Store and we'll be using Stripe as a third-party API. So if you're not familiar with Stripe, it's similar to PayPal. Um, it allows you to make online payments uh, with credit cards. Anyway, that's all the features that we're going to look at and that I'm going to try and complete pre-Christmas, um, which will be a challenge in itself. Um, but hopefully that will give you all the bases that you need to build your own apps. And if you want to join in uh, my bootcamp or uh, help build some really fun apps uh, in a communal effort, then uh, I hope that you'll be able to join up and uh, do that as well. 
So uh, I'll talk to you soon.